Hello and welcome back to Quartz Light, your car brochure channel. Today's episode for Ford Friday, we're going to continue our Fords of Australia series with the range topper, the Ford LTD. Hello and welcome back and if you're new to Quartz Light, we're a car brochure channel here on YouTube looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s and sometimes beyond that as well. So if you're interested in cars, car knowledge, car brochures, please consider subscribing. Anyway, back to today's episode. This episode was first shot on a Friday and Fridays we call Ford Friday because we look at different Fords every Friday. Now this channel isn't particularly a Ford channel but other makes and models are shown during the week but Fridays we've kept for Fords Fords from around the world and we continue our story for Australia with the Fords of Australia we now come to the range topper the Ford LTD I say this is shown on a Friday I guess probably if you're living in Australia you probably first see this on a Saturday I guess is that right? Anyway, let's have a look at today's brochure. So here is today's brochure. Uh, Ford Cars Model Catalogue November 1978. Front cover showing this rather lovely Fairmont in red. A car we've already covered. In fact, we're up to the final car, uh, the Ford LTD, the luxury range topper. But if you do want to look at back at any of the episodes, you certainly can do, and that also includes the Fairmont. Anyway, let's jump on and get back up to where we're up to. So yes, the Ford LTD, Australia's luxury limousine. Last week we left off looking at the Ford Fairlane 500 and Fairlane Marquis. I said probably if I was looking at luxury cars, the Fairlane 500 was about far as I'd like to go because the Fairlane Marquis was a little bit too glintzy, a bit too fancy for me. Well, we're going one step further with the LTD. An unusual car, I'm going to say. A um, bit more like a, a Rolls Royce style grille on the front of these round lights. I'm not sure it's the car for me, but as with all cars, there's always going to be somebody who actually loves these. So we'll certainly have a look at them and certainly lots of luxury features in 78 although i kind of like think a car like this would only happen in 78 personally but anyway let's open the brochure up and see how the range starts for the ford ltd in 78 so we turn the page and it starts introducing us to the ltd with these black examples and think chrome we've got these like chrome type hubcaps on there um, big chrome grille, a little bit of a badge pointing up and this particular example has got flags on for some regal purpose for sure. Um, vinyl roof, you know, Ford's idea of luxury. I think, like I said, I'm not too sure about the design personally but I think black is the colour to have them in. I think it looks best in black. And I guess we should address, what does LTD stand for? Well, I'm no expert at Australian or even American cars. My knowledge is more for cars sold in Europe. But I've under the understanding that LTD originally stood for luxury trim decor, or even limited, possibly. But I think it was actually changed sometime um, for some of the Australian models to mean Lincoln type design. But I'm not 100% sure. So if anyone in Australia wants to correct me or point me out in the direction of what Ford LTD stood for in 78 in Australia, that would be great knowledge to know. And like I say, not a huge amount of knowledge of Australian cars. So anything you want to add, Please comment. I love reading your comments. Uh, they're always very interesting. Now, what we'll do, we'll look at the text from this first page um, and learn a bit more about it. Moments of luxury can be some compensation for the pressures of public life. Ford LTD is, by design, one such luxury. 
Ford LTD is distinctively styled with bold, clean lines, a clear statement of achievement. It is the largest and more spacious motor car presently built in Australia, with exceptional legroom in the rear. For relaxed comfort, LTD is luxury, implicit in a hushed, smooth ride and for a bred performance. Sheer pressure is expressed in the ease of handling, quite notable in a limousine of these proportions. Integrated air conditioning including ducting to the rear compartment, genuine leather seat facings, power operated windows, stereo cassette player, four wheel power disc brakes and six way power operated front. Bucket seats contribute to the comfort, convenience and handling of the Ford LTD. And all are included in the price. Ask your Ford dealer to arrange a test drive. And then in a look in the interior, the very 70s, and it really is a 70s idea of luxury. These unusual controls are certainly a bit unusual. Um, and if we look at the door cards, typical Ford of 78 style door handles, as you can see throughout the range, actually. I'm not sure. Was what I'm saying. I'm sure this is somebody's dream car, but I'm of two minds. But just look at the carpet. You can lose all sorts in there. But there wasn't just one model available. There was kind of like this fancy version. This is probably even less for me. If I had to have one, I would have the most basic black one they had. But you could go further. You could go for the silver monarch edition these rather garish looking car in my opinion but like i say i'm sure it's someone's dream car so i don't want to put it down at all i mean in its own way it was very 70s wasn't it um we get these wheel trims with the extra bits of white on there we get a vinyl roof but it looks like it's a silver vinyl roof and i'm presuming silver monarch edition is going back to um, the Silver Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, I think that's probably where that particular name has come from. But, you know, the range topper of the range toppers. Very individual, very showy for sure. Um, it's even got like a red velour interior, which we'll have a look at in a moment. So I think this is starred or silver, but then it calls it something else in the so I'm not 100% sure of the colour name I always thought these were starred or silver but possibly not silver roof like I say so some, some kind of like very special silver roof I think we should zoom in on that something very special that, that roof I'm sure the roof alone was a small fortune so like a silver roof very fancy isn't it very sort of Hollywood stars type car but not a car that I would particularly enjoy being seen in to be honest with you but there we go it is certainly different and of course like i said that big rolls royce-esque type grill idea and like i said i'm not sure about the round headlights either but anyway let me know in the comments what you think about them love them or hate them i always like in reading your comments and i always like people's having different views and ideas okay so the ford ltd silver monarch edition the LTD limousine includes an extensive range of luxury features as standard equipment. Nevertheless, the Silver Monarch Edition offers a group of features that add considerable distinction to this already fine limousine. For example, with the Silver Monarch grey exterior, so like I say, I kind of thought this was called Star or Silver, but it's calling it Silver Monarch grey. Um, there is a time-consuming cut and polish operation to provide a superb finish. And the Silver Monarch Grey vinyl roof, like I say, I'm calling that a silver roof, but it's again calling it a grey vinyl roof, adds a subtle look of refinement. The seats are upholstered in cranberry red crushed velour cloth, and the carpet and door trim is colour keyed. Before you order the LTD, ask your Ford dealer to show you cloth and paint samples for the Silver Monarch Edition. 
the Ford LTD Silver Monarch is available at a nominal extra charge. So, you know, all these features for not much more. I wish I had the cloth and paint samples actually, but sadly I don't. And here is your interior. If you like your seats being cranberry red. An interesting car, I'm going to say. So there we go, not really the car for the shy and retiring, it really a very showy car. I suppose also a person who likes people looking at them, I guess, but possibly not for all the right reasons. Having said that, she looks quite happy with her example. So then we get to the options and specifications. So convenience equipment, and it's just calling it one model, the Ford LTD. So we get an AM, FM, multiplex push button radio. You can have Velua cloth seat upholstery at no cost option. I think I would have gone for that, particularly in the Australian heat. I'm not sure about vinyl or leather in very hot weather. Um, you can also get a long range fuel tank for 26 gallons. Um, at an option. You can also get the typical heavy duty equipment that you could get on the other models surprisingly so even this is supposed to be more like a, a city car I guess. Um, you could make it into heavy duty equipment for driving out back I guess. Uh, heavy duty suspension, class 1 towing pack, well quite strange towing isn't it? Um, heavy duty uh, pack for towing and a class 2 towing pack, so various different towing packs you could get. Only one engine choice though, you got the 5.8 4 barrel carburetor V8 engine. Looks like you didn't have a choice for a manual, you just got it coupled with a 3 speed T bar automatic. Tire availability as shown there. Bit of information about dimensions which I'm not really going to go through but think big and the engine specifications it's a 5800 cc engine interestingly the drawing at the end is showing it towing which is an unusual image and then we got a bit of information about driver and passenger protection the following items are built into your ford ltd to lessen the likelihood of an accident occurring and to help prevent personal injury in the event of an accident so we got four wheel power disc brakes dual hydraulic brake system with warning lights front and rear outboard or outboard inertia reel seat belts um, high backed front seats recessed padded instrument panel steering column designed to collapse at a, at a predetermined load onto impact conditions impact absorbing steering wheel controlled collapse front end padded sun visors padded door pull armrests door mounting grab handles laminated windscreen and safety glass in all windows windscreen mounted breakaway anti-glare interior rear view mirror exterior rear view mirrors electric rear window demister quartz halogen headlights reversing lights front and rear side marker lamps two-speed electric windscreen wiper with intermittent wipe action and push button washer control non-reflective uh, wiper blades with anti-lift vein fitted to driver's side blade dual tone horn steering column stokes control for high low beam a headlight flasher, turn and lane change indicators and side impact intrusion bars. And then we get a bit of information about service and maintenance. So it's like you service it after your first 1500 kilometers, which is very low isn't it for that first one, but not unusual to do a, an oil change early on on a new car. And then routine servicing every 10,000 kilometers. And that comes to the end of the brochure really, so it tells you all the different models from the Escort, the Cortine, the Falcon, the Fairlane, which we had a look at during the course of uh, this brochure review. And then at the bottom there the Ford LTDs. Both the model just referred to as the Ford LTD sedan and that little bit of a special Ford LTD sedan 
silver monarch. But like I say, if I was looking at luxury, I think I would have stopped at the Ford Fairlane 500 sedan, probably in black. And then right on the back page, it shows this very interesting little image. At the start of this brochure review, we started comparing the Escorts for Australia, the Escorts for the UK, and then looking at the Cortinas for Australia and the Cortinas for the UK. And then just look at this model. It is a European spec Ford Cortina. So we can compare them in our own brochure, can't we? So yeah, no bonnet bulge for those larger engine models. Bumper close to the headlights. Yes, this is the European model. So why is it showing it here? And here is... Looks like France. With all the French cars there. Renaults and Citroëns, etc. So why is it showing this? There's almost like a little bit of a public information about travelling. Travelling to Britain or the continent. If you are planning an extended stay in Europe, then consider the Ford Courtesy Car Scheme. It's an economical answer to the high cost of getting around Europe and the UK. The scheme offers you the choice of a new Ford Escort, Cortina or Capri for anything up to a year with the minimal charge period of three months. Or the minimum charge period of three months, I do apologise. To take advantage of this special service to Ford customers, you must place a firm order with your Ford dealer in Australia for a new Ford passenger or commercial vehicle or tractor and take delivery of it on your return to Australia. You can also take advantage of this service if you've taken delivery of a new Ford vehicle within six months. Proceeding the use of a Ford courtesy car in Europe, full details on the Ford courtesy car scheme, contact your Ford dealer. So there you go, buy a new Ford and then you've got an option to have this little bit of a Ford courtesy car in Europe scheme. So I wonder how expensive that was. I guess it would have been cheaper than leasing or renting a car when you get to this other country, particularly if you're staying there for a year. What an interesting idea. And then right on the bottom of the brochure here, it's got, you know, printed date of October 78, as we know, and then the little bit of an Australian address for 1978 there uh, in Victoria. So there we go, this ends today's episode for the Ford LTD, and indeed this Ford of Australia series for 1978. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've certainly enjoyed looking at these cars because I do love Australian cars, particularly those Australian cars that were very similar to the European cars with a few little twists. I enjoy looking at both those. Um, don't worry though for you uh, Australian car enthusiasts or indeed those living in Australia we will at some point come back to Australian cars because I really do like them. So all we've got to say now is if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It really helps the channel as does liking this video and it's all completely free. So thank you for watching. Uh, please join us again very soon. Have a great weekend. Take care and goodbye.